guys, Mama Beach here. Welcome back to my channel. I'm here today to do a tag video. You guys know I love a good tag video. And I recently got tagged by my friend over at Coach Craze. I'm gonna link her channel below in the description box. Thank you so much for tagging me. I think this is a genius idea. And the tag is, what, what handbags do I have in my collection that I am afraid to carry? And I actually had a hard time preparing for this video because I've really pared down what I have to stuff that I actually carry and use but I was able to pick out a few things that I'm pretty scared of carrying. I'm gonna go through each one and tell you exactly why I feel that way. So let's start with this guy right here, my Judy and Burke Florentine satchel. All right, this satchel is in the small size and it is in the color aqua. And this is an incredibly, incredibly rare bag, which is the number one reason that I'm scared to carry it because it is so rare, it is so hard to find, this color is impossible to find, especially in this size. So it took me forever to get it. Definitely don't want to mess it up, but I absolutely love it. Another reason I'm scared to carry it is because Dunenberg Florentine leather is incredibly delicate. You have to be really careful with it. It can stain, it can scratch, um, it can get super dry and wear. So you really have to be careful with Florentine leather. So you may be asking yourself, why? Why would you do this to yourself? Because it's so beautiful. If you have not had the experience of owning a Dooney Florentine leather bag, go buy yourself one. And you're a person that loves good quality leather. This is the best quality leather out there. Honestly, you guys know how many handbag brands I have in my collection and how many different kinds of leather. This is an experience. I mean, I can't recommend it highly enough. It's a really incredible leather product. The last reason I'm scared of carrying this bag is because this particular color and a lot of blue Florentine colors from Dooney do not patina well. This color is going to change over time. It's going to get greenish and it's going to get yellowish and it's going to get ugly. Now, sometimes the patina is actually a good thing. And for example, I'm going to pull out here my natural Florentine satchel. This bag has changed so much over time. It has gotten shinier. It has gotten darker. It is smelling yummier every single day. And the way this leather has changed over the years has been so beautiful to watch. It started out originally like a very light vachetta color. And this is where we are today. Um, still stain, still scratch, but with a color like this, it just makes it look more vintage and cool and worn. And I just, I love the way patinaed natural leather looks. This patina is ugly. So she's gonna stay on my shelf. I'm gonna look at her. I'm gonna smell her from time to time and tell her how beautiful she is, but I probably won't be carrying this one anytime soon. All right, the next one I wanna talk about is my Gucci Nubuck Leather Soho Tote. I absolutely love this bag. It is gorgeous. The quality of this Nubuck Leather is amazing. It is so soft, so squishy. The color is so saturated. It's beautiful but any nubuck or suede leathers scare the living daylights out of me because they stain they scratch they show wear they show every little thing and you can get a suede or nubuck brush or cleaner and try your best to clean it up sometimes you can be really successful with that however still super scary absolutely should never get wet i mean this is, talk about high maintenance. This is almost more high maintenance than the Florentine, which is hard to believe. But I just love the like kind of tactile softness that it has to it. I love the tassel, I love the color. I just can't bring myself to get rid of it because I love it so much. And and while I'm telling you like I haven't, I'm scared to carry all these things, I have carried them all. I have because I just, sometimes I just can't help myself. I'm like, I'm gonna risk it because it's so beautiful and I need to take it out of the house and just enjoy it for the day. So I have carried this bag a few times and I've absolutely loved it every time, but I am still scared. Next, let's talk about this um, Tory Burch Kira chain wallet. And this is in a lovely tweed. I've actually never carried this and I feel incredibly guilty saying that. And I think the reasons are that um, it's more of a light color, which scares me. Even though the back has a nice big black pocket on it, so it's a crossbody, and I'd be a pretty worried about color transfer from jeans, but this would really help with that issue. So it's really smart that they actually put this pocket here, but it is still a light, lighter color overall. And I think that makes me nervous. And the fact that it's fabric and not leather 
makes me really nervous. Now, that being said, I have another tweed bag from Tory Burch that I carry very frequently. That is this Fleming bag. And I think for me, the difference is I feel like this is darker. So I don't worry so much about it, especially on the backside. But the tweed is a completely different texture. This tweed is very fuzzy. And to me, it just seems like very absorbent, which scares me. This tweed is very tough. It's a very, very durable tweed. There's no threads hanging off it. There's no fuzzy, fuzziness to it. And it just seems so much more durable. So that's why this one gets a lot of use. And this one has gotten zero use. Time for another one that I think I've only carried maybe once or twice. And that is my Louis Vuitton Duffel PM. I think this is such a cute little bag. I absolutely love the shape of it. I love the bucket shape it has. I love all the hardware. The Vachetta on it is in such good condition and that's why I'm terrified to carry it. <laughs> I don't want to ruin the Vachetta. I can't believe the condition that the Vachetta of this is in. And when I purchased it, it came with a replacement strap because the original strap was lost and that had never been used. So it's a perfect strap and a perfect condition Vachetta. And I'm scared to be the one that accidentally spills on it, carries it in the rain or does something to ruin that. So I just, I think I've carried it like twice when I first got it and it's pretty much sat on my shelf ever, ever since. I think it's so beautiful. I just, I can't bring myself to carry it. Now, that being said, I have other Louis Vuitton bags that have Vachetta that I do carry frequently, like my Neverfull MM, but you can see that the trim on this is already ruined. It has tons of water spots on it and it's already turning color. So if I do something to mess this up further, I don't feel bad about it because it came to me like this. I purchased it at a price that made sense for this condition. So I don't need to worry about ruining it and ruining the value. That, however, I need to worry about. So I haven't really carried it. The next one may come as a shock because there's really not much of a reason to be scared to carry it, but I just am. And that is my Coach Rogue 30. And this is, the reason I'm scared to carry it is because it is a custom Rogue. Now I got this off eBay. I believe it was eBay. Um, somebody was reselling it. I did not design this, but look how gorgeous this thing is. It has a cornflower um, pebbled love, glove tan leather body and the trim is done in like a bone color. I forget what coach calls this. I don't know if it's bone or something else. And then the handles are dark denim and I had all these tags that came on it that are dark denim and um, that bone color. And then the interior is this gorgeous, gorgeous honey colored suede. I mean, whoever designed this is a genius. It is absolutely gorgeous, but I'm so scared to carry it because while it is incredibly durable leather, I mean, there's really nothing to worry about in terms of durability. I'm so scared that I'm going to do something to mess this up. And because it is one of a kind, I'm going to feel so terrible if I do mess it up. And I think sometimes the white straps scare me a little bit. I'm usually careful when I carry it not to wear a dark colored top because I don't want the straps to get color transfer. I'm just, it makes me nervous but I absolutely love this bag. And I've gotten more questions about this Rogue than a lot of other bags in my collection because it is so incredibly rare and unusual. So definitely want to keep it looking nice. Last, but certainly not least, honestly, should be on the top of the list. You see it there. You've probably been staring at it all video. It's my Chanel mini rectangular in this beautiful green color. I love this bag so, so much, but it's a money thing with this one. This is by far the most expensive handbag I have in my collection. It's probably worth over $5,000. And to carry around a bag that's worth $5,000 is a lot of pressure. Luckily, it's caviar leather. It's incredibly durable. It's a nice dark color. I don't worry about color transfer. I don't really worry about rain. I don't worry about the durability of this at all. I'm just so scared. I'm going to do something dumb, quite frankly, and mess it up. And that's five grand out of my pocket. And that just terrifies me. So it doesn't get much use. I've used it maybe two or three times when I just couldn't resist and I had to take it out. But 
for the most part, I really look at it as a collector's item because I'm just not that rich. <laughs> if I were super rich, like these celebrities you see carry Chanel and stuff all over the place and they just toss it around and wear it in the rain and not care, like sure, but I'm not that rich and I gotta take care of my stuff that's expensive. So just a normal person over here that likes handbags and this isn't very special to me and also very expensive. All right, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. Thanks again to my friend at Coach Craze for tagging me in this video, in her video, and I will link her channel below once again. Definitely check it out. I would love to hear in the comments what bags you guys have that you are low-key terrified to carry, and maybe you just visit them in your closet from time to time and give them a little pet or just stare at them lovingly and never carry them outside the house. I would love to hear in the comments what kind of things you guys have in your collections. And if you are a YouTuber, please feel free to do this tag. Just let me know in the comments so I can go watch your video. All right, guys, I'll see you on my next one. Bye.